A little bit of sacred geometry and the tetractus or tetragrammaton, which would apply to uh, well, in the Bible, Kabbalah and Pythagorean schools, especially. And this is a should be enough. My screen. Yep. Uh, now you can draw it with the seed of life. Begin with one circle. Now we just do a vesica. Put that on the edge of the circle. And now where those circles intersect, you just put your compass point there, and you'll create a well a perfect hexagon. Now I'm just going to rush a little bit. So if I'd done it perfectly, this would have intersected on the line there, but because I'm using a thick point. circle okay and so there we have the seed of life now the tetractus is a okay so let's so first we have what's called the tetragrammaton now part of my calligraphy but it it's uh, used in well biblical uh, Kabbalist tradition that should be a little bit off and then we have And part of my writing, but if you look up Tetragrammaton, you'll see it. So it creates this four leveled plate, and so eventually you get this it's very important in uh, esoteric and well, especially Kabbalist, but you'll see it very, uh, even in Christian uh, symbols, especially. We also have the Tetractus, which is this Pythagorean symbol. which is relatively, it's again, f one, two, three, four. You just have the same pattern. That should be a more equilateral triangle, but you can also get it from the seed of life. And there we have it there. But the point of this is, is the dimensional aspects, four dimensional aspects, especially. And so I'll be looking at uh, triangular numbers. And so, so we have one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we can also just represent that as that system of dots. But what's uh, cool about it is so, firstly, I'll get a fresh piece here. Okay, so in a uh, dimensional aspect of it, so, uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have the order, one, two, three, four, and you also have two to three, three to four, so that uh, musical ratios as well. But what the triangular numbers themselves is, so the first one, because we have one dot, then we have one, one, two, three. So these are the triangular numbers as they're called. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now what's like second dimension? So firstly, one so let's add the first and the second, the second, okay? One plus two equals four, which equals two squared. So the second row. Add the first and the second, you get two squared. Do it again. Three plus six equals nine. That's the second plus the third row equals three squared. Six plus ten is sixteen equals four squared. Now the next one would be the fifth row. So one, two, three, four, five. That will make the next triangular number fifteen. 10 plus 15 equals 25 equals 5 squared. So you have a first and second dimension uh, connections from there. But you can also take it uh, a little bit further. So we've already got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But first dimension, 1 to the first, 2 to the first, 3 to the first, 4 to the first, and 5 to the first. Here we have the second dimension. 
So we have one squared, but just represented as one squared. Then we have three, four squared. Oh, sorry, two squared is four. Two squared is four. Three squared is nine. Four squared is 16, again from the second. And then we have the next, now, 25. Now, uh, now look, let's look at the third dimension as well. So we have the third. Now, we'll just begin with uh, one to the third. Now, what's nice about that is that we'll have a... Okay, so firstly, what we have is... Uh, consider, okay, one plus two, one plus two equals three. And where was I going with this? Okay, so one plus two is three. Okay, we know the next number. Well, okay, uh, two to the third is eight. Two, two cubed is eight, one plus eight is nine. So one plus two is three, one plus eight is nine, equals three squared. Now we have the next one would be 27. One plus two plus three, okay, this is triangular number, one plus two, one plus two plus three, the next one would be six. 1, 1 cubed, plus 2 cubed, or 8, plus 3 cubed, or 8, equals 36, equals 6 squared. Now, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. The next one, 4 cubed, would be 64. 36 plus 64 equals 100, and 100 is 10 squared. Now that would carry on uh, forever. So now we have what for the first dimension through tri triangular numbers, we get them uh, to the second dimension. Now there's also this third dimensional pattern going on. That's one way to look at it, but uh, we'll flip over and do that again. So we have one to the first, two to the first, three to the first, four to the first and then one squared which is one and then uh, four nine and sixteen now here's a little you know nice little thing that works as well so we have one plus one plus two is four okay so now the same thing two four plus two plus three equals nine and then nine plus three plus four equals 16. That's how the first and the second dimension works together as well. Now, if we have one cubed, and uh, now the next would be two cubed, uh, sorry, so that would be eight. Okay, but this doesn't add up one plus one plus four is six. What we're doing is we're, we're, we've got a deficit of two, okay. 1 times 2 is 2, so that's where we get our 2 from. And now they equal out. Now, does it work? 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 9 is 27, so we have a def def deficit of 6. 2 plus 3, 2, sorry, 1 times 2, okay, 2 times 3 is 6. That's our deficit to get us to... 27. Now the next one would be um, 64. If we add these together, we don't get 64. We're 12 short. It's uh, 36, 46, 52. So we're 12 short. 3 times 4 is 12. And that's where we get our um, deficit from. Now if we go into the fourth dimension, so 1 to the fourth, this would be 16. Try it again. So these add these three together. 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10. What we are is we have a def deficit of 6. Now, 1 times 2. Okay, so 2. And then we have 1 
plus 2 is 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. That gives us your deficit. Now, try it again. Next one should be 81. 3 to the 4th. That's 20, 16 plus 8 is 24. Plus 27 is 51. So what we have is a deficit of 30. Do that again. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. 6 times 5 equals 30. Now, same thing again. The next one would be uh, 256. 108, 112, 172 is the deficit. So, uh, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 plus 4 is 7, and 7 12s, did I do that right? 108. 172, 112, 172, sorry, 172 is the, the addition of these, and the deficit of that would be 84. 12 times 7 is 84, and that gives us your deficit from there. So now we've got one, two, three, four dimensions, and it all sort of emerges from the detractors and these very clever systems and that's why I think it's so important in these mystic traditions and what goes on and it's a well there's quite a bit more in there but that's just it. that's a intro to it so triangular numbers one three six ten fifteen one the first plus the second Second equals one is four, which is two squared. The second plus the third is three squared. The third plus the fourth is four squared. The fourth plus the fifth is five squared. And then that will join. Then you could use that again, just the triangular numbers. Now, for instance, you know, one plus two plus three plus four equals ten, as in the tetractus. It's uh, it's in the first dimension. But if you do one cubed plus two cubed plus three cubed plus four cubed equals 100, which is the square root, the square root of that is 10. So 10 squared, so the first applies to the third through the second. And then you have the, well, the fourth dimension and all this stuff going on. I love my math, my numbers, and, that it, and it comes from this pattern, and that's why these numbers are the ones also which are always embedded in sacred uh, architecture. Now with that 4D pattern as well, if you start adding them across the rows or multiplying them across the rows, you're going to get 108, 216, 288, 144. You know, it's all embedded in this 4 pattern which emerges from some very simple first dimensional addition then you consider multiplication and you consider the squares cubes and the fourth power and that's where it comes from awesome stuff I think have a good one